yes, you, you both survived. Yes. Congratulations. Um, it looked, you know, really, really super intense. I'm assuming it really was, but how much more intense was it than you thought it would be when you uh, finished your script and when you read it? It was about 230% more intense than we anticipated. I'm, I'm being generous. It, it was probably 300. It was it was his first film, so I think he 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 got really crushed by the level of expectation. I got uh, it, it was it was still probably twice as hard as I thought it, as I knew it was going to be when I started. It was just you started with like you both survived. You're not kidding. Like it was there were plenty of days where I thought I must not die and no one must die today. Honestly, no, honestly, because they don't have the same regulations there. Um, and we were really pushing the envelope, but it was an unbelievably talented team of Absolutely. Of, the crew was guys. phenomenal. I'm very thankful to have had the guys we had. I noticed you didn't have anything at the end saying no actors were harmed during the filming of this. Be I'll yeah, tell you, we had 90 <laughs> stun days, 90 shooting days worth of stunts, and we got away with five stitches on one stuntman's head and one chipped tooth on one of the guys playing Henry. Our safety record is impeccable. And every stunt you see in the is film real. is actually done. It's yeah. CG only enhanced. There's no like, you know, green screen camera and then they put the hands in no. afterwards or something. It's always a guy with the rig on his head to getting keep the set on fire, having to film other people, diving out the window of a bus. Don't, don't break the camera, please. And remember to film as you, you know, yeah. put yourself out while you burn it. <laughs> exactly. yeah. It was really tough. Oh man, so what made you come up with this idea for your first feature film? It was a music video that I did before. I was doing that, it wasn't a proof of concept, it was a music video I wanted to make for my band and I just had a lot of fun shooting with my friends. And then it comes out and the next day I get a call from Timur Beckman Beta, our producer, who says, I want to produce a feature length version and you get to direct. And I'm like, no, it's a terrible idea. Why would we take this five minute thing and blow it up for 90 minutes? It's not going to work, it's a, it's a gimmick, etc. And then uh, he's like, just think about it. So a week, a week later, I was like, nah, probably not. I'll stick to my doing the smart movie I wanted to make, the very sort of classical, conventional one. He calls back and says, all right, one last question. I'm like, what is it? He's like, well, don't you want to go see a great POV action movie in a cinema? And I was like, I, I would. And he's like, well, you should make it. And then it clicked, and I understood the potential, mm -hmm. the, the, the ability to potentially do something, something groundbreaking and be a pioneer and, and a feel that's never been done before. And I was like, my God, if we get the story and the action, this might be phenomenal. It won't be, my, that's not might be, it will be mind-blowingly phenomenal. And the rest of it was just, you know, work hard, get Charlotte interested, and then work hard, and he has to work hard, and three years later, here we are talking to you, yeah. Stacey. Yeah. So, yeah, Charlotte, I know that you get a lot of um, offers, I'm sure. What was it about this film that stood out for you? I mean, I know that there's, you know, the quote-unquote gimmick of it, but there yeah. must be more to it. Well, I, I, you know, I don't call it a gimmick at all because you're talking about something that is uh, reflective of a whole new generation you know first person shooter POV the GoPro camera this is not gimmick world this is something that's going to have an impact exactly how and why on full you know exactly how much of an impact uh, I couldn't say but I really wanted to get a chance to do something pioneering it's literally not since district nine that i'd had a chance to get involved with something from such a grassroots level to have a relationship like i had with Ilya that was as collaborative i came on as a producer i got to have a lot of influence in in what the film was creatively um and uh so uh, that was an exciting challenge i knew it would be very difficult um but i wanted to make something that was a unique cinema going experience and I think yeah. so did so did Ilya. No, I, I no recognized goal. it right up front I sort of thought well this might give people a reason to go to the cinema which is becoming harder and harder to do you know this is an event this is a cross between a theme park ride a video game a movie and a rock concert if you go with your yeah. if you go with your friends yeah. you know you have an experience uh, in the cinema but we are a primarily horror website. Mm -hmm. You so, guys are great, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we do love our gore, and there's plenty of it in this film. Um, how much of that was um, planned ahead? Like, you, did you tell them, well, we're gonna make a No, I, what I said, film. Timur said, come up with a tentative title. I was like, oh, let's call it Hardcore. Just click, and I was like, I loved it. I loved it, and I started writing the script. It wasn't Hardcore Henry in the beginning, it was just Hardcore. I was like, I'm gonna live up to that title. And that's why I just didn't hold anything back. My favorite films don't mind, it's not about gore, it's about, you know, if you're going to have a story about a sci-fi story about a cyborg who has to open up his own chest, we're going to see inside that chest. And it's not supposed to look pretty. There's, there's plenty of directions we've gone this slightly well-designed route, and that would have been great, too. But I just thought for such a visceral experience, let's, you know, let, let's go all out. And your head explodes, it will explode. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I think the important thing, it's not mean-spirited. It's not hateful. It's a fun, uh, slightly over-the-top, slightly campy, you know, action-adventure-slash-comedy film. Uh, and you call it camp, mate. 
Oh. <laughs> He's back. He's back. I just had a flashback. There's Sniper Jimmy. There's Sniper Jimmy. Charlton was staying in character. If, if he was dressed as Sniper, uh, Sniper Jimmy, we get Sniper Jimmy that day. We get Colonel Jimmy. We get uh, him outside the sh scene doing all that stuff. It was hilarious.